this is our rendition of uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. We hope you enjoy it. So first and foremost, we have uh, Gabriel John Utterson, played by Fezan, who is a lawyer and a good friend of Dr. Jekyll. He is a cold man of little sentiment. Next, we have Richard Enfield, played by S. Nully, a distant kinsman of Utterson and a well-known man about town. Next, we have Sir Danvers Cariou, that's me, as well as a narrator. Uh, Danvers Cariou is a well-known nobleman and a client of Utterson. Next, Dr. Hasty Lanyon, played by Muhammad. He is a well-known and highly respected medical physician. <laughs> and the oldest friend of Utterson and Dr. Jekyll. Next, we have the housemaid as well as the flower girl, played by Sanam. Uh, she is the caretaker at Dr. Jekyll's house. Next, we have Dr. Henry Jekyll, played by Ahmed. He is a reputed and well-acclaimed physician who, realizing all human beings are dual in nature, experiments with concoctions and discovers a chemical method of separating these dual personalities in order to allow one side to seek pleasure without guilt and the other side to remain steadfast and not be tempted by the pleasure-seeking half. I pray that this works. And lastly, Edward Hyde, played by Hyde. He is Dr. Jekyll's evil alter ego. Sir, flowers, sir? Bother off you! Please, kind sir, please buy some flowers. I could really use the money. Oh, please, kind sir, please, kind sir. I could really use the money. <laughs> Get away please, from me! Please, sir, please, sir. Shut up! You filthy beggar! Stop! Stop it! Who the hell are you? It's Edward Hyde. Edward Hyde, you better apologize this girl. Listen, you! You listen. Perhaps you offered this girl some monetary compensation. So I and this street full of witnesses wouldn't have to involve the law. Fine! A hundred pounds! The murder of Sir Danvers Scandio, a few months later. Hyde is becoming too evil. He's getting stronger. I feel that perhaps one day, I may not be able to turn back into Henry Jekyll. No. Hyde will have too much power. He'll take control. As the days go by, Dr. Jekyll had to take the liquid two times stronger than usual to change back to Dr. Jekyll, and he had to take an important decision. I must choose who to be. Being Henry Jekyll isn't exciting at all, but he is a well-respected doctor. But Hyde, Hyde comes with pleasant dangers and excitement. But he is hated and lonely. So for two months, Dr. Jekyll had decided not to turn back into Mr. Hyde. I can't take this anymore! I need to be Hyde again! I need to feel younger! Dr. Jekyll makes a terrible liquid and turns into Mr. Hyde again. Later that evening, Hyde encounters Sir Daniel Carius on the street. Good evening, sir. Do you know what the time is? Time, you ask? Well, good for me. I do know what time it is. Can't tell you, though. But, but why? Because that what would be the fun in that? That'd be boring. 
or do something exciting. Pardon me? Let's just say your time has come to an end. No. I'm going no. to kill you now. No. Don't, <laughs> don't you know who I am? I am a famous <laughs> man. I am Mr. <laughs> Danvers Kelly. I am a famous no. man. Do not no. want to do this. No. You will regret this. Damn no. you. No. no. Come no. on. No. 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 The next day, the newspapers were full of the story of the murder of Sir Daniel Scadu. Utterson finds out about the incident and is severely concerned. Edward Hyde? I believe I have heard this name before. Was anybody mentioning about him? My client has been murdered. I must get to the bottom of this. Oh, I can't believe this is happening. How could have someone watched from a window? And now they have the name of the murderer, Edward Hyde. I can't bring him back again. I must not bring him back again. Lanyon receives a letter. He is baffled by what it reads. 9 December, 1881. Dear Lanyon, you are one of my oldest friends. If one day you ever say to me, Jekyll, my life, my good name, my mind is in danger, I will do everything to help you. Now, Lanyon, my life, my good name, and my mind are all in great danger. If you don't help me tonight, I am finished. I ask you to do this after you have read this letter. Drive straight to my house. Paul, my servant, is waiting for you. She will take you to the library. I want you to go in alone. Open the cupboard with the letter E on the left. Break the lock if necessary. Pull out the fourth drawer from the top. Inside it, there are some chemicals, a bottle, and a notebook. Please take the drawer to your house. At midnight, please be alone in your office. A man will come. Give him the drawer. That is all I ask of you. Five minutes after that, you will understand how important this is to me. I do not believe that you will fail me. I am sure that you will do this. With all my thanks, Henry Jekyll. Lanyon did exactly what was in the letter. I don't know what any of this means. I should be taking this to my house then. Of course. Sir, sir, is Dr. Jekyll fine? He's been acting strange lately. He comes and goes at odd hours. I'm worried, sir. I share your exact sentiments, my dear. I myself haven't heard from Dr. Jekyll in quite some time. Pray he'll be all right. Don't worry. I'll get to the bottom of this. Take care now. At midnight, Lanyon is waiting anxiously for Dr. Jekyll's visitor at his office. He sees a suspicious man lurking in the shadows, trying to get in. Hey you, mister! Are you from Dr. Jekyll? Do you have the stuff? You forget, mister, we have not been introduced in the right way. Please sit down. Ah, what's with all this nonsense? I'll give you answers when you give me what I came for. Who are you? You bloody... Uh, the chemicals now! Uh, Let go of me! I said the chemicals! I the chemicals are over there! Now, 
Lanyon. Will you be wise now, Lanyon? Can I have this class without any more questions? Or do you want to see the truth? I want to see the end of this. <laughs> possibility as miraculous as this. Action. Filled with regret and with the fear of permanently transforming into Hyde, Dr. Jekyll locks himself up in his room and refuses to meet anyone. Utterson storms into the room. The maid informs him that Dr. Jekyll has locked himself up in his room and is refusing to meet anyone. Sir, he's locked himself up in his room and hasn't come out in weeks. Please, sir, do something. I'm worried about him. Doctor, open the door. No, stay away from me. Doctor Henry Jekyll, open the bloody door. Stay away from me if you know what's good for you and for me. No, no, enough is enough. <laughs> Lanyon was right all along. I transgressed the boundaries of science and just to escape my boring life. I sold my soul to the devil. Door. I sold my soul to the devil. No more. No more. Farewell, Utterson. Doctor, open the door! Doctor Jekyll! Doctor Jekyll! Oh God, Henry! It didn't have to end this way. Oh, that boy. Yeah. 